I'm Jenna Ellis, Director of Public Policy for the James Dobson Family Institute, and I'm here today with Mike Donnelly, who's the Senior Legal Counsel for the Homeschool Legal Defense Association. So Mike, welcome to Family Talk. Wow, it's so exciting to be here, Jenna. Yeah, so talk to us about what you're going to be discussing with Dr. Dobson regarding homeschooling. Today. Well, we're going to talk about homeschooling, we're going to talk about parental rights and, you know, how parents are looking for more options uh, for education for their children. You know, homeschooling is a growing movement here in the United States, but also around the world. There's over 2 million children who are homeschooled in the United States. In some states, the number of homeschooled children actually exceeds the number of children who are in private schools. So I know that it's your position and also HSLDA's that homeschooling is a parental right. Can you explain what that means? Well, you know, in, in America, the Supreme Court has said that parents have the fundamental right to direct the education and upbringing of their children. So as a matter of federal constitutional law, that's very important. Uh, but Education is really done at the state level, and most states recognize that parents have a right to homeschool their children. And we think, you know, it works really well. What we've seen in the research and in our experience is that kids who are homeschooled, they go on to college, they get jobs, they're, you know, they kind of go on to be normal people, really. Like me. I was yeah, homeschooled you, all the way through. Well, look at you. And as I know I've met some really wonderful homeschooled people here uh, at the uh, Dobson Family Institute and Family Talk. So it's very exciting to see what's happening in the homeschool community. Excellent. And so uh, Dr. Dobson has been speaking into this issue for the past 35 years and uh, you at HSLDA right. are celebrating your 35th anniversary, so congratulations. But talk to us also about uh, why Dr. Dobson ha and his voice have been so significant to this movement. While so many people you know, have said to me how influential Dr. Dobson was on them starting to homeschool their children. Uh, back in the early 80s, homeschooling was just a tiny little fraction of the population. And then Dr. Dobson brought in a couple of people on his, his broadcast, uh, Ray and Dorothy Moore, who had been doing some writing about why homeschooling was a good idea and why it was good for children. And he put, brought them in. I think he had them on for a week. And thousands and thousands of Christian parents heard about this. And they said, wow, homeschooling, what a neat idea. And that was really the start of where we are today with millions of children being homeschooled. So he had a very important role in starting this whole movement. So for the parent who's watching either in the United States or um, somewhere internationally, what would be your encouragement to the parent who's considering homeschooling? You know what I would tell them, Jen, is you can do it. It doesn't matter what the legal situation in your country is. If you feel this is something that you're being called to do uh, for whatever reason, and there are lots of great reasons to homeschool your kids, mm -hmm. it works. It, you know, yes, children who homeschool are socialized. Look at you. You're a homeschool <laughs> graduate. You seem to be very well socialized, if you ask me. Um, Thank you. Dr. Dobson does think so, so uh, that's good. <laughs> that's, yes, that's, and that's a very good recommendation right there. Uh, you know, it's not hard to get into college. And so a lot of these questions people ask, there are answers to. And you can get those answers. Go to hslda.org, Google homeschooling. There's no question that can't be answered about homeschooling. And it's great for children. It allows them to explore what they're interested in, flexibility in their schedule. They can actually have time to play, the younger kids and even the older kids. Uh, and so it's just a great way for children to learn. It allows family relationships to flourish. Children can have better relationships with their siblings and with their parents. And uh, it's just very exciting. It's really cool. So for the parents who want to contact HSLDA and learn more about homeschooling, where can we reach you? Well, hslda.org. That's the place to go. All right. Well, congratulations on the 35th anniversary. I'm here with Mike Donnelly, who's Senior Legal Counsel for the Homeschooling Legal Defense Association. And I'm Jenna Ellis with the James Dobson Family Institute.